So for the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to continue talking about touch screens and touch I.O. and show you how you can place objects using the touch screen sensor. So this uses vector I.O. to draw shapes. It's a really fast way to draw shapes on screen. And as you can see from the display here, when I touch the screen, I am setting the position of one of two points there. So I have a little blue circle, I have a little red circle, and they essentially alternate uh, with my taps of the screen, which is useful for if you want to do things like draw objects and choose their radius or corner to corner. So we might do a little bit of uh, shape creation, sort of drawing program kind of stuff with this as we proceed. But it's useful for all sorts of I.O. things, uh, or I should say it's useful for all sorts of user interface things, uh, games, that sort of stuff. So the way this works, in CircuitPython, I'm importing a bunch of libraries, time, board, display I.O. for drawing, vector I.O. for drawing with Panache, and the Adafruit touch screen library so that I can read that touch sensor there. In fact, you can see it a little, little nicer if I use something other than my hand blocking the camera there. I'll use a little stylus. Uh, so I set this up with display as the board display. It's a built-in display, so it's easy to set up. This is a Pi Portal, by the way, uh, that I'm using here, but this would work on any of our Touch I.O. capable screens. Uh, and then I'm doing a palette of a couple of colors here, and then I'm drawing two vector I.O. circles. So one is using the color index zero of the palette, the other is color index one of the palette. That's I like get that blue and that red. Uh, and then I'm setting them with a consistent radius at a couple of different X, Y locations. And that's going to matter in a second when we start redrawing these. I then append those to the main group, display the root group. Uh, and then I initialize my touch screen. As you can see here, this is on dedicated pins on the board that are reading X, uh, left, right, and the Y, D, and Y, U. So that's down and up. Uh, and then we have some calibration here that's uh, pretty standard. And we're setting the size of the touch screen to be the same as the size of the display. And then we've got a couple of state variables here, P1 and P2, to hold those positions, initially set to nothing. Uh, and then during the main loop, we just simply wait for the screen to get touched. So P equals touch screen touch point. That's, hey, we've noticed we've, we've, uh, we've touched a point on the screen. Uh, if we have touched a point, then the first one, if it hasn't been touched, is going to get set to whatever the current point is. And we read that, which is uh, x, y, and pressure. We read the x at index 0 to be the circle 1 x position. And we read the y from the uh, touch as circle 1 y. And then we sleep uh, just as a kind of easy debounce here. And then the next point, next time I press, it's going to change the position of the second point. And so that is how you can set the position of objects in Vector I.O. on a touch screen inside of CircuitPython. That is your CircuitPython Parsec.